We remember today as Korean War Armistice Day, marking the end of major combat operations in the Korean War on July 28, 1953. The civil conflict between North and South Korea began on June 25, 1950, when eight divisions of the North Korean People's Army, equipped with Soviet tanks, mobile artillery, and aircraft, crossed the 38th parallel into South Korea. On June 30th, President Harry S. Truman ordered a naval blockade of the Korean coast and authorized General Douglas A. MacArthur to send American ground troops into Korea. Communist forces attacked the Republic of Korea. This attack has made it clear beyond all doubt that the international communist movement is willing to use armed invasion to conquer independent nations. General MacArthur recommended that a Marine Regimental combat team be deployed to the Far East. A month later, the 1st Provisional Marine Brigade, or the Fire Brigade, landed in the port of Pusan and the Marine Corps began its involvement in the Korean War. The conflict would see the Marine Corps grow from a force of 75,000 regulars to more than 261,000 Marines. The war in Korea was costly with U.S. casualties totaling more than 140,000 killed, missing in action, or wounded. 42 Marines received the Medal of Honor for Heroism in Korea. The actions of Marines during the Korean War solidified the Marine Corps' role within the U.S. military and cemented its reputation as our nation's crisis response force in readiness. <laughs>